Hello and welcome to another Looney Tunes review video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to follow my journey to review all 1000 Looney Tunes shorts and give this video a like as well. So this is a review for Bosco the Sheep Herder, released in 1933. It's the 58th in the series and it's directed by Hugh Harmon. As for where you can find this cartoon, there's no restoration available as far as I'm aware, at least at the time of this recording. So yeah, we'll just have to make do with a reasonable print as you're going to see right here so this is a copyrighted cartoon so i can't show you the full cartoon here on youtube but in case you haven't seen it i will say you're not missing out on much but just in case you do want to know bosco's looking after sheep and we see some antics involving the sheep and bosco and we get a wolf at the end and that's pretty much it so first you're going to hear a re-edit of the original audio commentary I did before I had to take that down. So thanks to my good friend Blue Genocide for re-editing that for me. Then you hear some new thoughts and well, there's really not too much to say about this one, but try and enjoy anyway. This short maybe starts to point out that the that the director Hugh Harmon might be getting a little, just a little bit sick of figuring out what to do with Bosco because the first third just focuses on this one lamb. Just, you know, Bosco just sits there playing his, you know, instrument and this sheep just frolics around and we just see a few gags um, involving that. I mean, it's not bad. Or bad. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. It just goes back to what Bosco's first were in the late 30s, late 1930 and uh, early 1931, where it was just music. Just... That's it. I mean, he makes a bat back pop out of um, a beehive. I mean, this must be pacifist bees because uh, I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't take uh, what, what's done to their hive pretty lightly. Just teach a squirrel how to uh, get br break some nuts. I'm pretty sure all of this is just about lifted. Yeah. What you get? It, what you get it, um, again now? Yeah, I'm pretty confident that most of it was just lifted from there. Yeah, I didn't have too much to say when I first saw this one. Also, the print I used at the time is the same that you'll see mostly floating around, which is one of the worst I've ever seen in terms of picture quality. It's as bad as some of the buddy short prints that you see around all over Daily Motion and sites like that. So I rewatched this in a much better print as you can see, even though it's not restored and while well, my opinions haven't actually changed too much. In fact, the only real bit of trivia is that this short reuses two bits of animation. So you have the sandwich bit from Bosco's Holiday, which was already reused in another Bosco short. And from Bosco's Fox Hunt, we see the bit in the cave at the very end. See, this short comes across as a bit of an anomaly among the other Bosco shorts released around this time. I mean, you had Bosco in person, Bosco the Speed King, Bosco's Nightmare, and soon you'll have Bosco's Picture Show. And all these show some evolution in the Bosco shorts, going from the original simplistic musical style shorts of a few years ago to shorts with some story and some more creativity. This short just comes across as a Bosco from the 1930-1931 period Except, unlike those shorts, that at least had some wonderful and amusing, funky animation to go along with the music and sound effects heavy tracks. Here we have scenes of the sheep and Bosco creating sounds out of things with the more refined animation of the recent Bosco shorts, and quite frankly, that makes this short quite boring to watch. Not to mention that this also calls back to how the early Merry Melodies had no plot to speak of until the third act, and... We get that here in the form of the wolf, and we also get an abrupt ending. Now, I mean, is there anything amusing in this short? I mean, I like the nut gag. And it makes a little sense, that's probably why I found it so funny. Uh, the salt on the on the flower bit was cute, and we get the good old wolf in sheep's clothing bit. I mean, I love my dad jokes, so, you know, there is that. And, of course, I also like the sound delivery of the bars done, done by the wolf. Bah! 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 
and the ending's pretty dark. I mean, the bear appears to have been killed at the end by Bruno. I mean, good dog, I guess? <laughs> Look, my theory is that this was a short that was in the draw, so to speak, and Harmon and Ising needed to get a short quickly done and out the door for scheduling reasons, and given that the last few Boscos appear to have more effort put into them, it wouldn't surprise me if that was the case, but, you know, all of this stuff is lost to time and we can only guess. That's my theory. If you have a, a different one, definitely let me know. Honestly, this short gets 4 out of 10. It's, I mean, it's not the worst I've seen, but it's one of the most blandest shorts and there's next to nothing going for it. And this one is pretty much for completionists only, I would say. But, I'm going to do them all. Good, bad, and in this case, boring. But, at least there's another one off the book. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. And until next time, take care.